Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very special time at the Beef Boys Taco Bell. This is like Christmas. It's Halloween time. Yeah. The spookiest time of the year. Oh, Farted on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Costumes one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Starting with Andrew Miller. Let's go. Alright. I found Andrew. the absolute I cannot believe someone would wear this and not be embarrassed. This is the shittiest thing I've ever found. <laughs> I'm Hit so dog to see it. Well now I'm excited to see it. Balls deep uh, baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> it, says, fuck, it says winners get it in. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, that's Let's go. facts. Yeah, Balls Deep baseball team established in 1969. Hey, oh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> Let's go. Well, Andrew, you're looking a little bit lonely in there. Yeah, Let's who's joining in me next? Many kudos. Many kudos. This is a, this is a costume I bought two years ago. It's part Let's of a, a two-part costume, but I'm only wearing one part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Are you an egg? Yeah! <laughs> what Yo, came first? He's the an ovary. Egg. The kudos hey. came first. <laughs> True. I always do. Yeah, yeah, but there you go. <laughs> and now, me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. He's Chris Pratt. He's Chris Pratt. Yo, he's so crisp! <laughs> that is very crisp. Those colors are fucking vibrant. Yeah, those yeah, are pretty hot as fuck. You're like a, you're like a you. YouTube kid's thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I just see like poop really on my is. head or something. Like, yeah. like poop on my head and I'm holding like an iPhone 4 or something. Corey put poop on his head. It's three yeah, Corey put poop, poop on my head and one. I put an iPhone 4S in my hand. Yeah, <laughs> and then like some text that says like and a Elsa lot of emojis, on me. dude. That that like that costume it looks like it has like built-in saturation boost. I know, like, like, like it, 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 is so, it is so fucking vibrant. It's one of those items those in like a, in, a, in an online game that has like particle effects in it, and like only yeah, the yeah, yeah. Deck players have. Yeah, you. yeah. The blue is is it has a lot of sheen to it's it. It's incredible. I, I, uh, thank you, thank you. All right, and last but not least, oh. And last but not least, yeah. the man. The Let's man, go! James Jehovah. <laughs> Jaira. Yeah. Uh, it's a me. Totally headless Nick. <laughs> 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 they fi they finished the job. The Hold on, I gotta cover my hands. <laughs> Harry Potter did my shit in for for trying to get a, uh, just a wee bit ahead. <laughs> Wait, are you are you the, the the pedophile ghost that we talked about last episode? The one that yeah, well, yeah. Canonically, he's not a pedophile, but you know, I guess we could make that exception <laughs> yeah. for me. And now that we're all introduced, I we uh, you know keep your eye out for the Joker, baby. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but oh. now that we're all introduced, me, Andrew, and Doplex prepared a very special, very, mm -hmm. uh, we, we spent like all night the other night when we were just hanging out, I was playing Star Wars, we spent like all night working on a special intro for this episode to surprise kudos with. Yo, okay. So, James, so, <laughs> play it. I'ma spin that beat. Here we go. <laughs> But that was an it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same so button, but on think? a different. <laughs> that was pretty good. Man. Okay, 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 okay. I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, and we're back. Okay, and we're back. Okay, and this is back. really it. Okay, we took we took a long time on this kudos. So, um, okay, here we go. Okay, Doplex, let it loose. <laughs> 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 it's, it's funny because without context, it's just so, it's just it's so, so stupid. stupid. It's like one of those like virtual haircut things they do with TV, we put headphones on. Oh, <laughs> so, so we were hanging out in Discord the other night and we were watching Beef back. 
uh, with Courtney, just like giving notes. And uh, kudos couldn't make it. And Doplex joined him. Was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk. My microphone's unplugged or whatever, because he was like editing something else. But he mm. wanted to watch. And then he unmuted his mic in Discord, and that's what happened. <laughs> 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 That fuzz. was that was real Roboplex. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was, it was yeah, the craziest That was me in my purest form. And then, <laughs> <That's> we, <awesome. laughs> and my soundboard normalizes it. it so it's not as loud. But it was like it was, <laughs> it was like ear piercing. Yeah. It was yeah. fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, we tried to record it, and then it, James is like Streamlabs or something fucked up, and so we went to do it again. And the what that the one that we got is was like. So much more aggressive than anything else. That they <laughs> yeah, and we, yeah. I, I about it was, pissed. It was myself. like trying to capture a ghost. Yeah, no, we like, were in tears laughing, and the, which is perfect <laughs> it was for really Halloween. Funny, because me yeah. and James were like in tears laughing, and <laughs> Doplex didn't have his mic, so the beef chat thing was just Doplex being like, "What's so funny?" What's going on, guys? <laughs> well, I did see that because I came in later and saw the chat, yeah. and it was just Dobix yeah. talking to himself for like an hour yeah. straight. Yeah. <laughs> we were wall of text to myself. That was like the third time trying to record it, and we were like, "All right, nobody, well, nobody, but like me and Andrew, like, don't laugh. We, we, you know, we got our laughs out. We just need a good recording for beef. And then if you listen closely, I literally shit myself because it comes in so fucking hard th this time. Yeah. Okay, Doplex, let it loose. <laughs> like it was like so much louder. I wasn't to fucking throw yeah. my headphones you off. You right in the end. back like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, happy Halloween, boys! Uh, we made it. Happy we Halloween, ghost dope yes. Spooky month. Spooky. This is going to be a month. It's spooky time. So, to introduce, this is going to be a month of spook schools, guys, and gremlins. Uh, so we're going to have a different yeah. costume Let's every go. week, and, and we uh, decorated. We decorated. And, yeah, look at this us. place. Fuck Dude, yeah, we did. Oh look, there's a ghost. There, oh, there's a ghost. Whoa. There's a ghost. There's a He's freaking. Walking. Oh, hey, there's a ghost. Can I get, can I get some oh, head? Cool. <laughs> can, I, can I get oh, some ghost leaving. head? He's some gonna... ghost. Head. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, he's, oh, he's back. He's back. Movie. He's gonna make the the face or whatever. <laughs> whatever the blowjob <laughs> face. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> now, before we get any further into the episode, we're ending this episode and the next three, which are all going to be uh, October or, or Halloween themed. We're ending all the episodes with a nice chunky table read of, of uh, uh, probably the most infamous Spooky. fan fiction on the internet of all, literally of all time. So yeah, stick, stick around yeah. to that. Stick around for that. Stick around. Yeah, yeah. All right. Skip to the end for that. Ruin out what do we want to talk that? about? Yeah, well, but if, I, if you're only here for for this, then here you go. Damn, she was writing and started farting. I was just like, what the fuck? Is you farting? She said, nah, bitch, why you lying? Then I see drops coming out her ass. Damn, she farted on my dick. Damn, did she shit it? Damn. That's a combo. <laughs> Killing shit, bitch. Call me Rambo. Thank you. Damn, so, uh, I'm thanks actually for kind of you surprised for that. that he <laughs> survived that. Uh, getting his dick farted on. Yeah, well, that was a <laughs> It's on, not in. That's the important part. That's true. If you remember from the back one. Right. Hey, so I, yeah. I had something I wanted to bring up. Uh, bring uh, it, uh, up. Yes. Now, bring now, it while, up. While we're bringing up classic Beef Boys bits, or oh, Triple Bs as I call them. There oh, is, I know where this go. is going. There's an infamous figure from our past. Not infamous, I think just famous at this point. From literally yes. episode one. Episode Mr. Block yeah. You. <laughs> okay. Mr. Block You <laughs> has... <laughs> He's $19 his. Fortnite card. <laughs> Who wants it? <laughs> he hasn't Legend. blocked us, but I guess you could say the uh, the US unemployment system blocked him cuz uh, he is currently <laughs> on uh, he is currently on GoFundMe asking for $2000 because uh, he is homeless need help with room and food. Oh no. Damn. Which is, no. Uh, no. Which is, no. which is sad. Bro. Not Mr. Block you, come on. Not Mr. Block you. Now, I don't well, want to be, I don't want to be help, the guy giving out financial advice, but there was some TikToks where he was holding up a stack of Fortnite gift cards <laughs> this thick. Oh, you think that's where all his money went? <laughs> I mean... Okay. Nobody wanted him. <laughs> I, I, think he, I think he could have made his money back. <laughs> I, no, I think he could have made his money back if with, like... 
after we told his saga like a month later mm. people started just stealing all his accounts and deleting them just like for the meme which is <laughs> oh, like really yeah. which is like really mean so he had like yeah. a million accounts and at a certain point it was like mr nerf you wants to fuck and shit like it was just, like he's <laughs> yeah. mr nerf you and just started throwing whatever at the end you. mr nerf you is in your closet <laughs> <laughs> Has to, so parentheses not gay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'd like to extend a beefy uh, well wish, well wishing out to uh, our dear friend Mr. Block. You hope he gets out of, out of out. being homeless. He still seems to be in a home in his TikTok, so I don't know if that's. Yeah. Uh, He's living in Mr. <laughs> Mr. Food's home. Oh yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Steal Your Food. Yeah. Steal your food. <laughs> yeah. They settled they in court. Yeah, Courtney, he's living put up there. A, put up a tribute to Mr. Blocky right here. Yeah. Why so much Fortnite skits? Why you not farting on people? Why you not doing the fart? I'm pretty sure you know what I want to do with this nerf. No more 401k. No more savings. <laughs> no more. I am broke. It's one of those things where it's like he's he's like he's famous. He's a he's a famous dude, but like he just doesn't have any way of like converting that into <laughs> into yeah, money. Yeah, which is probably yeah. one of the can worst you places. Monetize TikTok? Is you that another thing? I don't know. Surely you can do sponsored deals. Or no, something, you can monetize right? TikTok. I think it's like every thousand views is is worth like. A dollar, or, or not, not, not a dollar. Sorry, like ten, like it's, it's like ten cents or some shit. So it's like mm. exponentially less than YouTube by like a couple hundred right. percent. But like, I mean, but also TikToks get like some TikToks get like fifty million views, no problem. So yeah. like, you know, yeah. it's all relative, yeah, I guess. But, but he should, money. he should but take a, <laughs> he should take a page out of his brother-in-law's book and have his have his daughter popping a pussy on insta live maybe that's <laughs> bruh 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 this with my I'm daughter sorry. I'm sorry I'm sorry Mr. Block you Turk is my sweetie <laughs> pie your daddy needs the money <laughs> This is this is Mr. Block you asking for money on uh fucking GoFundMe. Bro, please, bro. Why bro, are you doing this? Bro, please. Damn. 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 That's the crowd. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Maybe it's one of those things where like he fully could could have monetized his TikTok, but he keeps fucking deleting them, or, or someone keeps hacking them. I'm just, the jury's still out on whether he deletes them or keeps yeah. make, or, or people steal them. Uh, well, well, what's weird know. is he was like changing brand. Like he would like go from Mister Blocky That's, to Mister yeah. Nerfew to Mister Nerf for longer than Mister Blocky, honestly. Mr. Nerf, true, he was yeah. months. He was he was in on yeah. that shit, which is so funny because yeah. it's like your whole brand is now a copyrighted product that you can't sell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, maybe that's what bankrupted him because Nerf guns are fucking expensive. Like nineteen dollars Fortnite true. cards ain't got shit on the new Nerf guns, <laughs> right? At all, it's yeah. Nerf or nothing. He got Nerf. This one, it's Glock or nothing. <laughs> that's tragic. <laughs> he really did get nerfed, but uh, well, what, what are what are the logistics of getting nerfed? Sorry, kudos. Go ahead. Probably Joe. <laughs> you get you become slightly smaller. I don't know. Anyway, please consider donating. Uh, donating to Mister Blocky's fucking Patreon. Yeah, yeah, it's called. All, all the proceeds. Please consider donating to his daughter's Insta lives. <laughs> <laughs> you get more bang for your buck. <laughs> 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 And also, don't you get blocked. You are so super fucked up. <laughs> you know what the irony is? All the people he blocks could have been potential people who donated money to him. And That's now he's true. starting That's to see true. the error of his ways. <laughs> yep. He yep. really, yeah, you're not that wrong. Because the trolls will give you more attention than anybody. He was blocking his biggest, yeah. like, view stream. Yeah, he exactly. A, a real yeah. Mr. Bickerous. You flew too close to the sun. <laughs> Got him. Yo. <laughs> it's done him by his own hubris. Yo, Doplex, yeah. what's Chris Chan's- what is- what- if Chris Chan was Mr. Blocky and people were hacking into his shit, what would his reaction be? Damn! <laughs> 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 
the fucking the note he hits at the beginning of you hacked into her Facebook is is legit. <laughs> like even when I know it's coming, it is so ungodly that it's hilarious every fucking time. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things, one of those facts you see pop up where it's like Madonna has like the the widest range vocal range in human history. They're able to hit something yeah. that people didn't think was scientifically possible. Those stupid fucking like not facts that appear on Facebook. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like that kind of thing. <laughs> it's like Chris Chan, Christine Channel was somehow able to hit a supersonic note, a super true note. Yo, the notes oh. Mariah Carey was hitting that like early in her career though. She was straight like. It sounded like she was like queefing notes only dogs could hear out of her throat. Like it was fucking <laughs> insane. Yeah, that's true. She was yeah. belting them out, and then Chris Chan came along, kind of. She wasn't even belting them. It was like that. It was like that super high head falsetto voice where it's just like it's not even singing anymore, but it's just the fact that she could produce that noise at all is just like, hey, yeah. yo, bro. Have you ever seen someone hey, who, like, who can do that and they think that makes them an amazing singer and they whip it out yeah. as much as they can? There's a there's a cringe <laughs> video I remember seeing. A while ago, I'll get Cordy to put it in here. It's this. You want our lives to repair? It's like the after party at a brony con, which would have oh, smelled man. great, but it was <laughs> it was just a compilation of like, you know, these. It's like a, a it's got like school disco kind of vibes, where it's <laughs> yeah. like guy on stage, and then it's just in like a gymnasium looking thing. They're all um, doing their por pony orgasm sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But um <laughs> That's mine, I call it. But there's like uh, there's obviously a lot of musicians within the Brony community and one of them gets up on stage, yeah. you know, I guess he he was one of the get the the guys booked and yeah, he's he's one of those dudes who can like hold a high note and just literally does it every 2 seconds, like every line he whips out a high note yeah. that he holds at the top and Bruh. I think the, uh, the part where it's really phoned home is I think later on he does like, he like sings the ABC song or some shit and Hell holds the yeah. notes there and just Ugh. one of those cringe things to be Falsetto like, yeah, look alphabet. at what I can do, yeah. ABC! It's, uh, fucking... Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, <laughs> With auto-tune, you, you got through the auto-tune on that. <laughs> yeah. ABC! <laughs> yes. That'd be entertaining. Yeah, I hit that eye note. Um, yeah. Did you guys see the fucking video on Twitter that one? I think it, it was. I think it was at the VMAs where they just got a bunch of celebrities to do like, like they cut together them singing "Let It Go." Oh no, no. Oh. But that okay, sounds well, fucking well, AIDS. We won't stick on it then, since you guys haven't seen it. But it, it, you should. Everyone should go watch it after you watch this episode or after we, you guys finish recording. It is. It's worse than fucking. The Beatles song say, at the beginning of the pandemic type beat. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, was better or worse than imagine. <laughs> it's just anybody Celebrity shouldn't sing unless that's like what you do. Yeah, you know? like well, no, they yeah, were especially not like Grande. Most yeah. of them, were, most it's of them, like <laughs> most of them were really fucking good singers, but it was just like that. Right. Hey, could you sing this song for this video? And they like fully like act, like <laughs> fucking flatten out their lungs, breathe in a big breath, yeah. get in a good position, and just like opera sing it and it's like dude just like if you're that good of a singer just do like a fun little like you know you still yeah, sound good but you don't though. care that much like yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Be, if you're famous and someone asks you to do something be goofy about it if you take yourself too yeah. seriously that is so fucking that cringe. Is cringe that is someone cringe. take that video and dub over it with the uh, oni and zach version what do you have the next grammy's fucking uh, mark ruffalo and ariana grando hip sing that's what the mask is with like 50 other celebrities i would fucking that would boss. be epic in base and red pill <laughs> I, I did. I did want to bring something up because we we failed to talk about it. But uh, Chris Chan, uh, just to, to back up a little bit, Chris Chan is Jesus now. Oh yeah. What, Chris, are, you, what are your guys' thoughts on that? I feel like we need to provide context because just saying that doesn't quite do it justice. Uh, right, right, so right, right, right. For, right, for right. the people who haven't heard of this, uh, Christine Weston Chan, a friend of the show, uh, sent a handwritten letter. <laughs> Original creator to of you. <laughs> Yeah, only only known receiver of the nineteen dollar Fortnite card. Uh, penned a letter <laughs> to uh, Null, who is the creator of Kiwi Farms, a forum dedicated to uh, documenting Chris Chan and similar individuals. And yeah. in it, Christine, uh, kind of, I mean, she was already a bit off the deep end, but this goes into like really kind of stereotypical off the deep end 
type beat. It's a little grim, yeah. Where they, they start it, it, like... It's like r slash morbid reality type shit. But uh, they weren't comparing themselves to Jesus. They were like, I am Jesus. Like, I, I searched deep <laughs> yeah. in my soul and, and I meditated and felt at one with the universe and the universe said to me, you are Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, may so I may I play her, her? May I advocate for her really quick? Because I think I think it's true. I can elaborate. You can elaborate. What do you mean? Best yes, selling you, best you, selling you book in the history of of the world. What is it? The Bible. The Bible. Sonichu issue one. <laughs> well, it could be Sonichu, but I think it's the Bible. <laughs> Okay. The, right. So the best-selling book in the history of the of the, technically the known universe of P, of things that can read words, the Bible. <laughs> okay. But let's go. But there is far more documented, written, and expounded upon about someone's life more than Jesus's. I said that really stupid. The, and the <laughs> only person that has more things written about them. Than Jesus and his entire life of like bringing people fish and curing them of their fucking lepers is I'm goddamn on it. is I'm goddamn Chris Chan. That motherfucker. No, I saw an argument recently that was like, <laughs> I saw an argument recently that was like there is there is most likely not a human in the history of the world that has their life more perfectly and succinctly documented than Chris Chan because of like how obsessed yeah, they are wrong. with them. Yeah, you're her. wrong. And dude. So it, if the aliens came to the earth and they wanted to, they wanted to know who Jesus was, the, technically the most they could ever know about someone is Chris Chan and, and they would be our Jesus. <laughs> Point them in Chris Chan's direction. So, yeah. Counterpoint to that, let's assume Christine <laughs> isn't isn't Jesus, just for sake okay. of argument. <laughs> let's assume and, she God. <laughs> it's in, yeah, the, they're the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what, yeah. What's interesting is like, you, you know, you, you see people like that i don't know if you guys have those in, in the, <laughs> the cities you're in but you know you walk you walk out around like the cbd and there's the one dude who's like either screaming about jesus or saying he is jesus yes not so, but you yeah know, even if you haven't yeah, seen yeah, you yes. know that is like a trope there's no, that that's def- yeah it's, exactly it's like a common i'm not sure if it's schizophrenic or what it is but a lot of you know but you often see that a, yeah. B. you see those people and you wonder like how how does a person get to this point you know like how does a person they grew up they went to school they were a kid they probably had a favorite cartoon they like went to work for a wee while like but now they're like 60 years old and like you know babbling in a gutter saying they're jesus and it's like it's it's very <clears> depressing <throat> but you kind of wonder like what 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 are the steps that led here and with chris chad we finally yeah. have kind of like a documented history of like this person going from this kind of goofy autistic guy to someone in jail for molesting their elderly mother and thinking that they're Jesus. So what we can infer, <laughs> is, then, Andrew, you have a counterpoint. What, what we can yes. infer from this data is that yeah. everybody you've ever seen screaming that they are Jesus has fucked their mom. True Yo. and love Sonic. That what too. <laughs> All Sonic fans <laughs> fuck their mom and think they're Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, and I would dare oh, any Sega Sonic fan. Yeah. I would dare any Sonic fans to come and argue that with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so Sonic fan, you fucking... haven't fucked your mom, and you wanna you wanna debate about it. Hit us up. We'll never believe yeah. you because we don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Our response will be no. Nah, you did, <laughs> no. weirdo. Can Shut I, the fuck up. Can I do a joke that's gonna you fuck Joe, mama? Go ahead, Can kudos. I do a joke that's gonna get cut. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> bro, please, bro, please. Bro, 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 why did you bro, do please. that, bro? I think the funniest part about that soundbite is, isn't he like begging his girlfriend not to leave? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we should. Bro, please. <laughs> like, like, James, give the context. Like, you can f- well, it's this, it's this guy like. I don't know. This couple's like fighting or something because the dudes, the dudes like over being texts. too clingy or some shit. Yeah, they're fighting over text, don't and this break girl, up, the girl's like responding like that she wants to break up or whatever. And the dude is instead of texting back, just sending voice memos, just on top of voice memos. And she's like, and he keeps trying to call her. It also logs like missed call in the chat. Yeah. And she's like, yo, dude, you're being fucking weird, bro. Just text me. I don't want to date you anymore. I'm sorry. And, he, and then he, she finally clicks into one of them. And it's just that he's just, he, he's so upset. Like he just dry heaves and he's like, bro, please. I didn't Play do nothing today. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. 
and then, and then, and then at the end, he gets so angry. He does like a he does like a toddler that just like dropped their chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> He slammed then, his penis in the car door. He lets go. <laughs> to top it off, she recorded it. Like, she screen recorded it and uploaded yeah, yeah. it to YouTube Dude, or yeah, something. That guy did anyway. so totally dirty. Dumb. <laughs> shit. Yeah. So dirty. Wacky pee pee. We're back. What's Why better than this? Guys being And we're right. Hey. Hey. Guys being <laughs> What's better than this? What's guys better being than this? So guys being plicks. Being guys, guys being, being dudes. Do you guys, uh... uh do you guys have any weird phobias or, or, well, here's the thing. I didn't want to bring up our, our phobias specifically because uh, that's kind of just giving people ammunition to, uh, I'm afraid of homes. Do. I'm homophobic. <laughs> 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 don't cut it, don't cut it. Don't cut it. Would you, 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 you read that one? <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm afraid of pussy. I'm, a, I'm, I'm scared of spread assholes. Catophobic. But from yeah. hot girls. Don't send this to me on Twitter. No, but that's the thing. You don't want to bring up anything. Like, because then people will just like... If they don't like you, they're like, well, now we've got some way to fuck with them. Oh, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I, yeah. that's why I wanted to bring up our friends ones, because I definitely know a few friends who have interesting uh, phobias. But I was wondering if you guys know any as well. I'm afraid of rust. That's, like that's like game? my weird phobia. The game? <laughs> yes, the <laughs> game. No, like, you know, the, the, the oh, like, fuck, metal shit, lost the game. you know? Well, with all, of Kudo's, you know. Pr with all of Kudo's words trying to protect us from your... Uh, your uh, harassment in real life. If you ever see Doplex, run at him with a rusty piece of metal. <laughs> Doplex hates uh, it yeah, when you stab him with rusty scream metal. and pee. <laughs> I'd probably pass out. <laughs> so, what what is it about like rust? Is it like the concentration of like oxidization that scares you? Like, do you hate <laughs> it's oxygen? It's just like I remember being a kid and like we had this like old like very old like Mercedes Benz that just like sat in our driveway for like. As far no back as I'm pretty sure it was there like yeah, before yeah, I was No, it was flakes. it wasn't like no a, a Mercedes Benz. It was like a, a fucking hoopty piece of shit, like old Benz. It, it was, was like the most expensive one they ever made. <laughs> it was, it it was, was like very twenty thousand dollars. Well here, I'll put it this way. I think it was originally red, but it was like basically white. Like it was so pink. And like there's just oh. spots of brown because it was like so rusted, and I just remember like every like just being so afraid of that car because it was just like covered in rust and like just something about rust. It just it looks gross, it feels gross. There's like a chance you can get tetanus from it, so you don't want to touch it. There's just there's it's just it's a disgusting uh, material that I, I I dislike very it strongly. It tastes so good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you did you did tell me you like to eat rust chips in your bed. So, so good. Do you, see, do you see pennies sometimes and you get scared and, like, and then you realize it's not actually it's just bro uh, it's just copper, <laughs> just bronze copper. whatever the fuck well, it is. When oh, when pennies God. do oxidize and they like turn like blue, like you know if they're like sitting at the bottom of a bag for a long time what and then the they fuck? like they start to <laughs> smell bad about? you know do you have, no. a, do you have a, sack, a sack full of pennies you piss on or something what are you talking about yeah what the fuck no, i just i i really like being a kid and like my mom would have like pennies at the bottom of her purse but it was like entwined with like gum and shit and like the pennies would like smell bad and then like you you know they pick up they like stains your fingers a little bit you know what i'm talking about no <laughs> <laughs> don't like just all. crazy <laughs> history with <laughs> <my mother>. pee pee <laughs> <laughs> what about what Boys, about you? Whack my pee pee. What about you, Miller boys? Anything that that freaks you guys out or freaks out people you know? Yeah. Besides I women, hate... don't say women. Fuck. That's a, all right, Courtney. Cut what I was about to say. <laughs> no, um, <Yeah>. <laughs> I fucking I hate things that move in an unpredictable like fashion or speed. Like mm, spiders, okay. snakes, and frogs specifically. I fucking hate all of them. Like I I wish you I could like kill frogs? I wish if I if I had the courage to I would kill them every time I saw any of them. I hate frogs. <laughs> wait, I fucking, frogs? No, frogs are, on, frogs wait, are wait, fucking disgusting. Frogs are gross. fucking wait. disgusting. Frogs are gross, but what the fuck? They're not really scary, but they kinda Well they're 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 terrible. Terrible. No, they scary. scare the shit out of me. Oh, uh, they don't scare me. I just think they're cute gross. little fucking blobs. No, they're just little no, boogers. That's they're they're, they're, wrong. they're the they're fucking rats of of uh, <laughs> fucking of the, the, the slime family, whatever the fuck they're part <laughs> of. I disagree. Well, I dude, disagree. They they literally carry like more disease than any fucking thing on the planet. 
most frogs. Bro, I grew up cat. I, I grew up going down to the swamp and like <laughs> catching frogs and like frogs. filling a two liter with frogs <laughs> and just like playing with my bare hands. Like, I never got any weird that's diseases. A, that's why, yeah, but you come in books in juvenile detention, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> but that, how is that, like, even, how is that even comparable? <laughs> no, you get diseases joking, from coming in a, in a book. No, the disease you got in your the, the disease you got in your brain made you come in the books <laughs> from the frog. Yeah, no, but <laughs> that's a side effect. It, if you they're touch just a frog, so nasty. Come in literature, but it's, it's the thing is like if a frog is <laughs> what a mad cum disease. Um, it's, 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 it's like if a frog is like off to my left, it, or just anything. Like if a frog is standing there, it's like. If there's a rat standing there, I know the rat has to, like, make movements with muscles and shit to, like, go in specific directions and has to, like, stop mm. and turn. And a frog can, like, right. be looking that way and do, like, a fucking quadruple can Mario fucking 64, 64 backflip and go God over my it. fucking head and stand on the counter, like, behind. Like, the, the, or the he could go straight forward or it could, do, or it could fucking flip right, flip left, yeah. go down, go straight up. Then like, there is no... Yeah, and it's the same <laughs> thing with on. a snake. Like a snake, can, a snake has way too much speed. It can go fucking anywhere. And spiders have eight legs. They can start going any direction at any time. It's not fair. Yeah. All right. I I, okay. I don't want to. I don't want to concern you, James. Can you go like this for me? Courtney, <laughs> now oh. remove his key. <laughs> no! These are frogs. <laughs> now make a move really unnaturally. <laughs> no, I I do agree though. I mean, I think that I don't think that's exclusive to you. Maybe the frog thing, uh, according to Dopex, but but the idea of the unnatural movement because I think that's like a very like that's why horror movies do that sort of shit where like they'll have like the mm -hmm. old the old creepy woman and then she like rickets towards yeah. the camera really fast. It's because yeah, yeah, like your hunter brain says like okay, this is this type of beast. I know it yeah. has this like max speed. So when that like gets betrayed, all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, I don't know what to think exactly. Anymore. Yeah, so, yeah. You, know I what I, you know what I was thinking? I I've I've thought about this before and like. You know, most people don't like bugs. If you like, if I see a bug outside, that's their do domain. I ain't gonna kill them. It's not their fault. I mean, they just live in. <laughs> but if there's a if there's a bug in my house, I'm not one of those fucking idiots. You're a fucking idiot if you do this. In my in my opinion, uh, in my I M H O, that's how you do it. Uh, the people that like put bugs like a bowl over a bug and then put uh, like paper under it and then like carry it outside and like no I'm just gonna fucking smash it and I because if a bug is up in the corner and I go to sleep It's gonna end up in my fucking butthole like who knows where it's gonna end up and that's why James sleeps And that's like why like I think bears awesome. kill us yo because that's, because like, that took an interesting turn. Bears what are like <laughs> unrelentless when you're in their territory. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on, I didn't do a good job of that at all. <laughs> what if you're in a bear's den and he put you under a bowl? That's why bears kill us. What if you're in a bear's den and he put you under a bowl and a piece of paper and he scooped you out? <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. That's what they should do. Maybe you're helping me rethink this right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 you haven't thought of it. You haven't thought of it from the bug's point of view. I would appreciate it if a bear did that to us. So maybe you know that's true. The bear just like it's puts like, you inside your house and he goes like, I saw what you did for the bugs. <laughs> just, yeah, just don't come back. <laughs> Tell your friends. I see you're a butter to the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you have a friend in me and the bears. The thing Sorry, is that the idea of a bear putting you on, under fucking Tupperware with a paper underneath <laughs> you is so fucking funny. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's okay. The, uh, the thing is like, I think well, not I think bears are like bears are like uber territorial and like even if you show every instinct of leaving and blah 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 like they could and they could leave but then they're stalking you like a hundred feet away and they're just waiting to kill you like when you turn your back or some shit yeah and I ass. think they do that because it's like once they see that you're in their part of the forest they're just like well fuck me. I don't know where this idiot's going. Yeah. What if I go to sleep and he comes to my cave and fucks and shoots me in the face? I gotta kill him. I think it's the same. They they bears look at us like we look at bugs. That's my hypothesis. They're just like, well, okay. I saw you. I can't get you out of my head now. I don't know if you're <laughs> gonna leave my premises or not. I have to kill you. What if it's like one okay. counterpoint? What if you have one? Sorry, two, what point. if you have one? Now, what if a silverback gorilla on steroids showed up? <laughs> Who Who pull that out. <laughs> Call back. Uh, okay. Counterpoint. Uh, these nuts. First of all, most bugs, right? Mo most of the bugs that infiltrate your home, they're just either passing Ooh. through or just looking for some warmth, right? <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not out to get you, right? Most of the Ooh. most of the bugs are more afraid of us than we are of them. Now, 
to be fair, for a very long time, I was, you know, doing the whole little bowl and little piece of paper, like, all right, little buddy, go back to your family and go have sex. <laughs> but lately, I'm too lazy. I'm just like, if I see one, I'll either A, completely ignore it, or B, I'll just like smash it. Typically, a like, freak. You know, but, but it's the, the thing is, I feel like the analogy doesn't completely work because I feel like the. A bear has way more of like hunter kill fucking I'm gonna rape you with my claws instinct versus no, a little tiny little spider just passing through. I guess I got bear status, Doplex. I well, guess that's I have, what you're saying. Hold on, and you have, but that's you what I'm saying. You're the bear. You have beta place. status. Doplex, you say that you, know, you don't care <laughs> okay. about you don't, you don't mind bugs because they're just they're just passing through looking for warmth, looking for food. Well, how about this libtard? Right. How about you drive up to Hollywood Boulevard, pick up some homeless people and let them crash your place tonight because yeah. they're also just looking for warmth and food. Didn't see that one coming, but did you? Let's fucking go, okay. kudos. All right, hold on. Counterpoint. First of all, I'm not, go, I'm not going around collecting bugs to bring them and yes, put them inside you, of my you house. Yes, you hit two spiders. Well, yeah. I, okay, I do. That's fair. But it, okay, two homeless people. Buy two fair jumping point. homeless people like however, you're jumping spiders. However, homeless people are, uh, they, you know, but uh, I feel like anyway I spin this, I'm just going <laughs> to dig myself into a very deep hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna adopt a homeless person. As much what if it's a jumping say. homeless person? <laughs> jumping? What if, don't they all they, jump? To an you, extent? Didn't, you didn't like spiders, and then you were like, "Wait, a jumping spider?" And you bought one. So I don't have a phobia of homeless people. Well, I, <laughs> I guess right. I kind of do. I have a counter, 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 counterpoint. <laughs> Okay, Andrew. I bet homeless people have a phobia of people that come in fucking books. <laughs> <laughs> they probably All do right. it themselves. It's probably the only place they can come. Go ahead, Andrew, sorry. You can come in here if you're homeless. I that's think that's a lot. Uh, none of you know how bears are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're coming from the man with the, the trucker the hat beard. and the mechanic shirt. Because <laughs> the beer really, lovers love to tell you about bears. The only time you get killed by, like, when dealing with bears, is if you surprise it. And it, especially that's if not it's what a the revenant says. <laughs> have you ever been? Wait, have you so, ever been killed by a bear before, Andrew? Uh, no, Check I haven't. Me. Because oh, well, I there, know we how bears work. there we go. There we go. Have you ever me. spooked a bear? Have you ever Say seen what? a bear and spooked it? Have, have I ever seen a bear? a bear and spooked it? No, because yeah. they always. Have you ever booga, booga, booga. Have you ever peened a bear uh. and and booked and booked it? <laughs> yes. No, but I okay. mean, James is you, you can ask inter pretty much with a bear. anybody who does any kind of outdoors stuff up here. If you make a lot of right. noise, and bears will hear you and they'll fuck off before you ever see them. And people fish what if they're along hungry? the rivers here. But they're hung they don't go after us. They don't like well, us. Well well, I feel like oh. I feel like that the only reason that that is a statistic is because everybody else that made noise and died, we don't know that they made noise beforehand because they are Yo. dead and cannot test to it. If Does, a bear yeah. if a bear attacks you in the woods and no one's around to hear it, did you make any noise? Fucking who Andrew. knows? Andrew. You're dead. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you guys, people <laughs> fish up the rivers here all the time, and there will be bears yeah. like everywhere. Okay, and they're just like Dwight hey, man. Uh, okay, nineteen dollar yeah. Fortnite card. Listen to this. Does that mean that if you want to make a lot of noise, <laughs> does, that, does that mean that the, like the fifteen year olds who blast music off their phone on the bus are actually always trying to avoid bears? Yes. Yes. Have Jeez. I been harsh on them this entire you time? You never know. I'm, those suburban I've never bears seen are, a bear. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're yeah. just protecting themselves. Yeah, they're okay, hiding in the stuff yeah. these people now. <laughs> You know, now, now, now those videos that I've seen make a lot more sense. Where like a, a woman will like fall into the bear enclosure, and the bear will be like thrashing her. You know, and then and then like people will just throw like Gatorade bottles, and the bear will be like, "Oh, okay, my bad," and he'll just leave. <laughs> you seen like that video? No, you know? <laughs> videos yeah. like that because I feel like I don't are watch videos like that. But it sounds. Why did oh, okay. they do that with Harambi? <laughs> Who knows? No one man. had a Gatorade bottle? I mean, Cincinnati <laughs> Zoo. Why don't you smell more Gatorade, fucking idiot? The, the person yeah. who ran the, the Harambe enclosure was like, with tears in his eyes, Does nobody have a Gatorade bottle? <laughs> Please! And then they I shot don't want to do it! I don't want to do it! Please! <laughs> Sorry! I don't only have Gatorade like... Zero! Oh, that one doesn't work! It's the different smell! <laughs> After he shoots him, the assistant runs up with a 7-Eleven bag. I was too late. No! Too what a... Dollar Fort. What if, like, when the kid fell into the Harambe exhibition, instead of shooting the Harambe, they just threw the gun to the kid, like, they just threw the, the fucking <laughs> rifle Defender in front fell. of him? <laughs> Do it! <laughs> what if you they made this mess, you won't make it. 
<laughs> they, they shot the kid to like spare him from the pain, but they were like, I mean, gorilla or two year old? I mean, like, come yeah. on. Who would you pick? One's a gentle giant. Gorilla. Child. We got enough people. Yeah. I don't know if he was <laughs> yeah. that gentle. Of I don't a really giant. like kids that much. So. I, I mean, he, he might have been the rest sport. of his life besides that one day, but. Yeah. Yeah, what, I mean, what maybe, if he maybe, had maybe, gone like full gorilla mode and just like whoosh, the kid up against the wall or something? That would have been fucking yo, brutal. That, that's that would have been imagine. Drake and the Harambe still would have taken off. Yeah. What? Well, no. <laughs> Unlively, probably. If like if Harambe <laughs> just took the kid and just fucking shampoo what? bottled him at the wall, <laughs> whipped him into a tree like Roman, Popped, like a Roman fucking soldiers Orbeez. used to do with babies. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that it, just, it sounded like this. <laughs> 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 and now James, play the mum watching. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Harambe, why are you doing this, man? Bro, I didn't do nothing, bro. man. <laughs> no, that was that was the zookeeper. That was the zookeeper who had to shoot him. <laughs> Bro, please, bro, why are you doing this? Bro, please. Dude, dude if, they, if Harambe kills the kid, do you kill Harambe at that point? Because, like, the threat is technically over yeah, because the, the kid do be dead, but it's like... Oh, yeah. Dude, they, they like, kill racehorses if their leg hurts. Are you kidding me? Of course they're going to kill a <laughs> well, that's silver head. That, that's because that's, like that's, like, the, the nice thing to do. That's, it's not because they're in yeah, danger. You, <laughs> right, yeah. But you, I think you have to with animals, right? I think like it if they, depends on if, if they, the like, family somebody? sues for that. Like, if they just sue for oh, money. Right. Like, if they're like, we don't want the animal killed because it was just doing what gorillas do, but we do want yeah. money because uh, our we, child we want died. Money. Or if, you know, right. the family's like a bunch of assholes and they're like, we want money and we want that fucking grill gorilla dead. <laughs> kill him. It, we if they did that, I would kill them. <laughs> what, if, what if they brought Harambe into the, the Harambe cage? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kill him with your bare hands, you fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> and then Harambe is just like, BB. 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 Would it have been fucked if like, the, the Cincinnati BB. zookeeper came out and instead of a gun he had a flamethrower? <laughs> oh <my laughs> like they, they like they lent out the, the one gun they had in the entire zoo and that's all they had left. <laughs> well, so uh, very... Elon Musk just put this out. I bought it. I was going to show everyone at work, but yeah, yeah. I guess I, I, I have to do a gorilla now. <laughs> He's like, oh, really? uh, pocket knife and a flamethrower. No, please. <laughs> he's like, wait, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Harambe when he's uh, on fire. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, all right, you got any questions? Phobias? Reddit questions. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I totally forgot we were doing phobias. We're on Harambe for oh, so yeah. long. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck we're we talking about? <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah. I have two friends. One of them hates the sound of chattering teeth. Like, he hates, like... I understand I that. I kind of have a video it does kind of give me AIDS. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Courtney, put it up on screen 16 times, but, like, perfectly <laughs> spaced out on the screen. Uh, What's your other one, kudos? <laughs> my other friend is deathly afraid of earwigs to the point that you could just say the word earwig around him and he'll, like... What is that? You know, like an earwig, like a little... little Little bugs Is that, that the little bug ear? with the little pincers on the end of its tail? Yeah. They're like this big? Yeah, yeah I hate those things. Uh, they go in your ears? Nasty. I don't know why they're called ear Oh, legs. oh, 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 the, the ones that like yeah. come out of, like they like like wet places, they like are in trains, they're mostly in bathrooms and stuff. They come out of yeah. the pussy. No, those are, those are silverfish. I think no, those are in Judith. Minecraft. Yeah, those are they're, Minecraft. Yeah, those are in Minecraft. There's a couple of different names because I've heard people call them silverfish as well, but I, I think it's the same bug. Oh, okay. I well, got no uh, idea. I think they're no, different. No, silverfish don't have pincers. Yeah, I think Courtney, put up a picture of a fucking earwig on the screen because we're all too fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway, he yeah. hates those. So shout out to that guy. I hope you're not listening to this episode. Yeah. Oh, it really quick, I have, I have that thing. I have that tryptophobia shit where like a bunch of holes really make me uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I feel like oh, most people have that. It's like, something, yeah. it's like so, <laughs> someone in the Discord the other day, I was like, why does that happen? And I think it was abstract. He, he had that big brain. He was like, a lot of holes usually mean decomposition. And before we were like smart oh, and had the science, c cavemen were like, decomposition? Sick. That's them walking like the other direction. They were like, fuck that. Oh, I don't have a body. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a cave, man. Imagine Johnny walking the other direction. 
that, that is yeah that makes sense there is but some people have it more intense than others like some people i think most people if you see like if you see a picture of those like lotus leaf uh lotus flower dots photoshopped onto a yeah. hand that trips pretty yeah. much anyone yeah. out and i think that is for that reason james because you're like oh it's decaying but some people can just yeah. get it if they just see like just some holes on like a wall even or whatever because we had no i and, totally do i can't even look at like a honeycomb during university we had oh, wow. we did this one weird paper in like first or second year where it was like it was like about yourself and you have to design something that speaks to you and all this other fucking waffly bullshit i wasted 40 grand on but um <laughs> she this one chick did a thing waffly where bullshit. that she, she had that tryptophobia really badly and her because you could do like a presentation or you could do like a piece of artwork it was like very loose you could like interpretive dance i guess if you wanted but this one chick <laughs> Her thing was she built like a, a, a little like three sided, it was like a doorway almost, but with like just these like white panels of like plywood. And yeah. she just stood in there. I think she got her dad to drill like a hundred holes in it or something. And then they brought it in on the day and her presentation was her standing in the middle of it and breaking down for a minute. And that was the, that was her <laughs> like, <laughs> and she got like an A plus and then she crushed it. But yeah, that's crazy. Theater students, man. That's fucking <laughs> epic. <laughs> so the uh, one where like 10 naked guys stand around me and I just go oh no I'm no, too straight no, <laughs> no, no please, the penis, please. I also have and that thing just like, where that is pee pee <laughs> that is pee pee <laughs> <laughs> I also I don't even know what the word for this one is but fucking uh, if I hear like quiet sounds they make me really angry like like mm. other people oh, like whispering, ASMR kind of thing. like ASMR makes me so fucking angry. But even just like people around me whispering, I don't know why it makes me really angry. And like chewing sounds and mouth sounds chewing, like yeah. make me be on. Like and I know that it isn't their fault, and I try to not pay attention to it. But then I like hyper focus on it, and I just like get so fucking mad. Isn't that called misophonia? Isn't that what that's called? Miso like when, jar jar. When very <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Like, cause I, I, Sabrina always makes a joke that that's what she has whenever like our, cause I we have a pug and obviously pugs are very like oh my god disgusting dude. little creatures. The sounds you know, they're, pugs they're like, make. Oh, oh. Dude, pugs are pugs like, it'll are just like randomly be like grunting or like cleaning yeah. his teeth. And it's just like, dude, pugs made the sounds for grunts in Halo. They did. All yeah. the grunt oh, yeah, sounds in right. Halo yeah, are, did, are yeah. fucking yeah. stupid pugs. <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's, a that's so true. there's a song by Tool called <laughs> Fartoid. It's like a it's like a I guess a skit, but it's a a metal band. So it's not really a skit. It's just like one of the weird like not songs right, and yeah. other songs but it, it's yeah. a really unnerving creepy fucking sound it's this low droning noise it, it's like it's what you imagine like some kind of alien like insectoid creature that's like the size of a fucking planet would make just like this yeah. really creepy hollow like kind of noise turns out it's yeah. just the lead singer's cat that they like squeezed into a microphone <laughs> and, then squeezed <laughs> into the mic and they just slowed it down like 10,000 percent or something and it's like <laughs> That's that's completely so cool. removed anything that's scary cool. about it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's sick. Andrew, Andrew do you have phobia? any phobias? Probably Mexicans. Reddit questions. Reddit questions. Yes. Wacky pee pee. Wacky pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks All for right, your uncle. So uh, we've we've extended our Reddit questions to our Discord. Uh, it'll be the pinned comment uh, down below. Uh, you can join. And come come join the Discord, come you fucking out. bitch. Assuming you're on uh, so you, YouTube. you can post questions there or on our subreddit. We have a lot of questions we need to get to, but we'll get to as many as we can because we're going to do the table read like we promised. So, uh, first one uh, comes from Skavo uh, from our Discord. I'll pay that one to see it. They, they ask, when's the last time a show, film, book, or game made you cry? <laughs> Boys. <laughs> get fucked, Gavo. <laughs> Don't even answer the question. Just skip it. <laughs> After that, you can't wait, come back. You on. can't come back from that one. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? Wait, what Andrew are you Andrew like called him Gavo. Me. Oh god. <laughs> Classic Andrew, always talking trash. We go straight. Yeah. We go straight from Andrew, Andrew making a that. racist joke to a homophobic joke. <laughs> yeah. you know. I'm banging Andrew's on all cylinders growing. tonight. You're, you're really, yeah. you're, you're dressed like a it's, trucker. It's the outfit. Yeah, you're dressed yeah. like yeah. a trucker. Yeah, yeah, you're a bigot. <laughs> no, yeah. 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 
Yeah. That's my I, uh, Well, let's, let's answer this. Cause this is a good question. Wh when's the last time a book, film, movie, or game made you cry? Are we oh, talking not music? just... Are we just talk... Yeah, music? Let's do music too. Yeah, just any entertainment. Yeah. Can yeah, we, yeah. Do we yeah. count lightly tearing up as yeah. crying? Because that's, that's, so. yeah, yeah. that's the most... I, I don't think any of us ever, like, ball our eyes out. Like, I mean, I maybe, but like... I think know. James does, yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, yeah. like, I... I yeah, because I feel like I get emotional a lot for like different like forms of media, but it's never like uh, like I'm gonna sit here and cry for an hour. It's more like you yeah, know, at, like, yeah. At the end of The Last of Us Two, I would just I felt stuck, like my body was paralyzed. You know, like yeah. I would consider that a form of of being like you know emotionally pulled. Like for yeah. me. Kingdom Hearts. I can't play Kingdom Hearts without getting teary eyed. And even like fuck? just booting the game up and like at the title screen, it, it's it's this weird like Donald Duck nostalgia is driven like, like the, the music. It's like yeah, you know sure. it just it, it just it makes it makes my eyes just fill with water and it's 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 a lot. Uh, so that that's my that's answer. wild. What about you? Well, yeah. But but was that the last time? When did you play Kingdom Hearts? Uh, well, I'm actually. I'm in the process. Uh, I stopped because I started playing Clone Hero. Uh, oh, okay. Fucking slaps. But that uh, that's fucking what slaps. I was playing. I was playing Kingdom Hearts. Okay, okay. Sure. Trying to gotcha. Get through that. Okay. But just just any Kingdom Hearts. I, I just I love Let's it so go. much. Let's go. Pee -pee. <laughs> <laughs> wax his pee pee. Wax his pee pee. It wax my pee pee. It does wax his pee pee. Yeah. I <laughs> I legit probably cry at like half of the things. I watch like that, like not YouTube videos, but obviously or or Twitch streams, maybe Twitch streams, but like m movies and TV shows, I'm crying like every other time. That's I'd, insane. Not like fully crying, but like anything can You're bring me to well. Yeah, yeah. It would up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like well, stuff that like has like actual storytelling. Like if I'm watching right. fucking right. porn. Uh, this was gonna porn. say you stop watching porn, so I guess that, <laughs> no, that why I was gonna I was gonna say <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say she it on his dick. <laughs> I was gonna He's say porn stars. Porn and crying along with the ladies. <laughs> I was gonna say porn stars, but I said porn stars. Yeah, porn stars. <laughs> porn <stars>. But <laughs> I'm just crying because they got a really good thirty dick. bucks. He got That's so ripped off. Oh, fuck, you so nice. That's a sobbing wank. He got such a good deal. I but I was listening to. I've been really stressed recently, especially with my. My own personal channel and stuff and YouTube in general and I list right. I listened to a there's a song Vienna by Billy Joel that's not one of his like bigger songs but it's it's still mm. like a popular one and it's basically like him singing to himself before he got like famous and successful and it's very right. it's like an it's it's like an ode to the struggling artist and that shit uh, I would literally mm. I was listening to it like this morning and I was crying Damn. Yeah. Damn. I literally, the last time I actually cried that's at epic. something was when I was like six years old and I watched The Iron Giant. Uh, and the only reason I cried oh, is, good, the only reason I cried is because uh, I got really, because they, they shoot like a fucking nuke or whatever that's going to blow up the whole world. I just, I didn't cry because yeah. it was sad about The Iron Giant <laughs> sacrificing himself. I cried because I was scared that that could happen in real life. And then I got really worried someone was going to nuke, <laughs> like <laughs> ISIS was going to nuke the world. So I, 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 yeah. I don't know. I really struggle to, I do get teary eyed at some things, but yeah. Yeah, what's the last thing that you like at the bare minimum? Like you felt that thing in probably, your chest where you're like, "Ooh, this kind of hitting." Probably yeah. Red Dead too. But the weird thing is, when I finished it myself, I was like, "Damn, she farted on my dick." But then when I was watching, <laughs> when I was watching my missus finish it, that's when I really like actually choked up. Yeah. Like the first time, I was just like, "Oh right, man." That was a fucking crazy story, but yeah. re-watching it with yeah. someone else, that was like what really triggered it, so. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta ask. That's interesting. So you you didn't get teary-eyed at the end of Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, I, that was pretty emotional, but nah. Cause that fucked me, like just- That, that was- just, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but that, that fucked that me. Was one that, that was one of those ones that, like, I, I kind of have I'll a more room like, Damn, where I like, uh, like I won't she cry. Yeah, <laughs> she that's the best way I can do it, where I'll be, I'll be like, Damn, and I'll like that'll like I'll, I'll be thinking about it, but I won't be like oh. right, I'm just right. like man, that gives me something to think about for a while. Yeah, <laughs> <You farted laughs> that's, that's that's Andrew, who farted on your dick last? 
Um, <laughs> I just <laughs> Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Why zoo. is it always Veggie Tales? That's the only Christian media you fucking know. So <laughs> the last, the last, I'll get the last to it here quickly. I'll get to it here quickly, but <laughs> I, I actually, I eventually want to do a video on Veggie Tales as being the only good <laughs> Christian media to like ever. Yeah, be no, made. Veggie Tales is awesome because it yeah. had such a like. I mean, you guys know about it. So, I mean, it had right. a great, anyway, so the last thing that got me is prob. I just rewatched Community with my buddy and roommate, Jared, and mm, that show that has show a few different out. points. I do. Uh, yeah. oh. Well, actually, I just rewatched. I hadn't watched it in, like, a little while, and Jared had never seen it, so I was like, let's watch it, and we watched through it, and that has a couple Jared, of moments. Jared, fart, I'm, I'm like, on dick. No, and you, you both were like, Damn. sorry, you fully just reminded me. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a similar thing. I, I finished Adventure Time for the, like, finally... Like a month oh, or two ago. Yes. Oh, that's right. So that's I, right. I, yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't fail things. Yeah. He I was, was kind of like. I definitely wasn't as emotional as Red did, but I was still like. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man. Andrew, was it at that's the end watching of hey Community Arnold. for you, or was it just like you were watching a special spe special episode, or did you like finish mm. it? Um, there's a couple of moments that hit for me, but yeah, the the end of the show definitely has a has a couple mm. of moments in mm. that episode where I'm like. Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> but the guy does blackface again, like in the other episode that got deleted, and, and they were like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, thank god Amazon still has that episode, Dark so I could show Jared, because that's legit one of the best episodes of Community. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that and the paintball one. I was yeah, really the, like paintball the paintball. Oh, the paintball one's, one's awesome. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, th there's there's your answers. Uh, this next one comes from Jakiki the Frigigi uh, from our Discord, and he asks, if you were to take a revenge shit on somebody's doorstep, what would you eat beforehand? Uh, I'm gonna add a ca I'm gonna add a caveat to that. Uh, and who would it be? He didn't ask that, but I'm asking. <laughs> Let's just not answer it. Yeah, I can't think of anything good. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say I, I'd probably no, eat kidding. like a, a quesarito, a big thing of mac and cheese, okay. and then like a full glass of milk, <laughs> and then, okay. and then let that right. boil and go drop it on somebody's front Who? door. Who would it Who? be? Who would it um, be? Yeah, Doplex. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. A package from Andrew. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know if I've had anybody in my life that I've hated that much. It, it doesn't have to be anything you, anybody you know. It used to be somebody somebody you don't like. George uh, Bush. Political figure, gotcha. uh, actor, you know. <laughs> anybody. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney, keep it but bleep that. Uh, <laughs> Fuck it. Right. Uh, uh, for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of uh, ping pong off of Andrew's answer. Definitely go with a Taco Bell item. Probably, I feel like a quesarito would be a good one. I don't know if they put fucking some kind of military grade laxatives in those. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go quesarito. Uh, I'm gonna go quesarito. I'm not gonna take my probiotic, and I'm gonna drink a a uh, a, a venti fucking frappuccino from Starbucks with extra cream in that bitch. Add a and then I'm going to, to Jeff Bezos's fucking mansion, <laughs> and I'm letting loose yes, on this fucking foyer. Based. I'm whacking his pee pee with my fucking turds. You're texting the rich with your <laughs> asshole. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what are you doing? Uh, I'd probably just eat something with a shitload of jalapenos because that seems to upset my stomach the most. And I like the idea of it like hurting yeah. me on the way out, where I'm like, I'm, you know, yeah. it's like <laughs> I'm 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 hurting for my art. Uh, <laughs> for your art. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. Jason Pollock probably, on someone's front door. Yeah. I don't remember the, the one Taco Bell I've ever had fuck me up that much, but probably just do that for the meme and then also eat like um, like a Philly cheesesteak with extra jalapenos in it. And then... Okay. Fuck yeah. And who, who would you Whose lay door on? You Ooh, where on? are you going? Probably like my own by accident. Going? Because um, <laughs> you can't make it, yeah, you'll be like yeah. on your way to the, your your target, but you're like, oh, I just gotta yeah, do it now. I like, cooked oh. a grenade for I cooked the grenade for too long and just fucking do it. Yeah. 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 it's like in GTA Five, it's like flashing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I gotta drop it and run. Yeah. Mine would be I would order whatever Doplex orders from fucking stupid shitty Taco Bell, and out of spite because he gets what he fucking deserves, I would go to his house. Eat everything he recommends from Taco Bell, and then fuck. And I'm very prone to like explosive diarrhea. Like I fart and speckle everything. I would right. fucking explosive diarrhea all over his front door and porch and everything. Just so, okay. just so, just, just, 
just to show him the the real Taco Bell. <laughs> the real, That's okay. the real Taco Bell. Dopex needs to know that his recommend. Here. Yeah, you're Taco not Bell. It. You're hearing it. Dopex is your your words come this with news to me. You, you're you're like a public figure. You have to remember that your words carry yeah. weight. James has shown you the consequences of your actions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. All I can say is, uh, first of all, James, I don't mind that you shit on my doorstep, but I do mind that you slandered the good name of Taco <laughs> yeah. Bell. And for that, Fuck Bailiff, yeah, did. Pee -pee. <laughs> don't you ever fucking slander Taco Bell again, you bitch. Pee -pee. All right, it's time for table read. Let's <laughs> oh, fucking, yeah. let's read some tables, table boys. Table read. All right, Courtney, Courtney, put us there. So... We've decided for uh, for the month of October for our four spooky episodes, we're going to try to do a table okay. read at the end of every episode and read through what is the most infamous fan fiction in the history of the internet, My Immortal, which is a Harry Potter fan fiction from the perspective of an entirely new, basically self all rated character by like an author. And uh, yeah. there's a bunch of other characters that are also from the universe. And some that are not, like Good Charlotte and <laughs> Charlotte Singer. <laughs> yeah, Dude, it's not even the name. This is Good Charlotte Singer. It. Yeah. Okay. Ah. We're gonna perform this for you, and we'll we'll All do right. it every episode. So make sure to come back for it. And without further ado, Andrew, our narrator, set the scene for My Immortal. Special fangs. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. To my girlfriend. <laughs> do not in that way. Raven. Bloody tears. Six six six. For helping me with the story and spelling, are you you are you are okay? Are Justin, you rock? You're the love. <laughs> you rock. You rock. You are okay. Dude, I don't you know how to read okay. this scene. You, said you rock. <laughs> Come on, didn't you have a scene phase? This Dude, is I, I, that's the thing. I never had a scene phase, so this okay. is gonna be a, right. an, an, an adventure. Are, you for are okay. This is gonna be amazing King for you. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. You rock, Justin. You're the love of my depressing life. You rock too. <laughs> MCR depressing. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> MCR R O K Chapter One. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. Dementia. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my red mid back, and acid blue eyes like limpid tears, and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Okay. Author note: If you don't know who she is, then get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys, I don't know who that is. I'm out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the egg and the chicken. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. Uh, <laughs> that's incestual. <laughs> I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, can we back up to that? Why does she wish she was related to him? Not, like, he's a major I hottie. wish I was. I was his girlfriend. I wish I was related to him so I could. Uh, She's sorry. from Mississippi. <laughs> There's different rules there, Doplex. That's true, that's they true. have to be related. Uh, I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. Uh, problematic. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. I wear mostly Ugh. black. I love Hot Topic and buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching <laughs> lace around it and black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was bearing black lips, big white foundation, black eyeliner, red eyeshadow. I walk outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. <laughs> 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 but like looked away like a, like a MySpace <laughs> photo. Hey. <laughs> hey, Ebony. She looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? <laughs> Nothing. But then I heard my friends call and I had to go away. <laughs> <laughs> chapter one. I need to go away. <laughs> Just some motherfucking bullshit. Right. What a beautiful first chapter. God it's damn. Chapter yeah. one. Is it good? Please tell me, Fangs. Chapter two. <laughs> Thanks to Bloody yeah. Tears Six 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 for helping me with the chapter. By the way, preps, stop flaming my story. Okay. <laughs> the next day. I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My <laughs> coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out my coffin and took off took 
of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I use for pajamas. Instead, <laughs> I put else? on a black leather dress, a <laughs> pentagram necklace, combat <laughs> boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings and my pierced ears, and I put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Dialogue description, <laughs> quite minimal. What she's wearing description, quite long. <laughs> quite long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My friend Willow. Author note, Raven. This is you. Woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened up her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini fishnets and pointed high heelied boots. We put on our makeup. Black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Oh my fucking god, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday. Yes, yeah, so? Do you like Draco? She asked as they went out the Slytherin common room into the Great Hall. Of course they're in Slytherin. No, I so fucking don't! Yeah, right. Just then, Draco walked up to her. Hi. Hi. Guess what? <laughs> what? Good Charlotte are having a concert at Hogsmeade. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> I love GC! They're my favorite band besides MCR! Well, do you want to go with me? <laughs> Chapter 3. <laughs> Chapter 3. Author note, stop flaming the story preps, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, thanks to coffee people for the good reviews. <laughs> Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't own this order lyrics for good Charlotte. <laughs> I would have never known. Charlotte. I'm glad I'm glad that despite her anarchic <laughs> ways, she does respect copyright law. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Ebony yeah. Black Darkness Dementia Raven Way does. <laughs> on the night of the concert, I put on my black lace up boots with oh, the high heels. <laughs> Underneath them were ripped Fred fishnets. No. Then I put on black leather mini dress with all his corset stuff on the back <laughs> and front. Just miscellaneous corset stuff. Just random pieces of trash. <laughs> <laughs> I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slipped on a- Oh my god! Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so out of pocket. That's it. That's all so hey, like, I was getting dressed up, and then I felt depressed. So I you're going one to see, of my words. And you're going to see your favorite band with, like, the boy you love. Like, what? <laughs> I felt a little depressed, so I let some out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I was not expecting <laughs> <Holy shit>. <laughs> <laughs> So I slit one of my wrists. <laughs> oh, I, fuck. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some <laughs> <laughs> I painted my nails black and I put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert. Did you drink your own blood? No, As you do. Maybe you should have let some blood go if you were willing, if you needed to drink some more. Yeah, Dummy. Still Shotgunning her forearm. Yeah, just yeah. recycle oh that God. shit. <laughs> yeah, like Chris Chan. She's like, Mix with some Fanta. Oh. <laughs> I, I went I outside. My Draco own blood. Was, <laughs> I was Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t shirt, baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Corpse husband. <laughs> His hands were so veiny. <laughs> Author's note, a lot for cool boys, were it okay? <laughs> of course. Hi, Draco. Hi, Ebony. Then they walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place with the concert. <laughs> the On the place way, of where it was? With the <laughs> the place with the, the place concert. with the concert, okay? And a place with the concert! <laughs> <laughs> Just the place with the concert. Yeah, we got concerts here. Yeah. <laughs> you could call us the place with the concert. On the way, yeah. they listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. They both smoke they both smoke <laughs> cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just miscellaneous drugs. Just like, like, like a a miscellaneous word. drugs. <laughs> when they got there, they both hopped out of the car. They went to the uh, mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as they listened to Good Charlotte. Like fucking Mario. 
<laughs> All right, Joel from from fucking Good Charlotte, you're in. You come in cold. You're covered in blood. Drake, They're jump all up and down. so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom. She sets you free into this life. Saying Joel from Good Charlotte. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics to that song. <laughs> Joel is so fucking hot. Suddenly, Draco looks sad. What's wrong? Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you. Really? <laughs> really. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. Hillary I fucking, fucking hate Clinton. that little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck Hillary Duff, man. Fuck her. I fucking hate that little bitch. I hate that little bitch. Uh, the night went on really well, and they had a great time. After the concert, they drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. They got GC concert tees. They crawled back into the Mercedes. Crawled? Uh, <laughs> it's they a did, clown they did car. Drugs. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that they crawled back violence. into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco <laughs> didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> Chapter 4 Forbidden <laughs> driving Forest the forbidden theme song forest. <sighs> Author's note I said stop flaming Okay Ebony's name It's Enobi Not Mary Sue Okay Draco is so <laughs> in love with her That she is acting different <laughs> They and each other Before okay <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Draco, what the fuck do you think you are doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. Ebony walked what? out of it too. But curiously. it's flying. How do you walk out? He fell and died. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Base jumped out of the car. What the fucking hell? Ebony? What? Draco leans in extra close and I, I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts. <laughs> <laughs> which, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly, I didn't feel so mad anymore. And and then, suddenly, just as I, Draco, kissed me passionately, Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against the tree. He, talk, he took off my top, and I took off his clothes. I even took <laughs> off my bra. Then he put his thingy in my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. <laughs> All right, James, you better give one hell of a performance on her first vinegar yeah. stroke. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was beginning to get an orgasm. They started to kiss everywhere, and Ebony's pale body became all warm. And oh. then, what the hell are you doing, motherfuckers? <laughs> 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 That's his line in the Goblet of Fire movie, like taken to its psychological like, extreme. Draco, did you yeah. put your penis into the ebony of pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Draco! <laughs> it was. And we're back. Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 5. Author's note! Stop flaming! If you flame, it means you're a prepper poser. The only, <laughs> the only reason Dumbledore swore is because he had a headache, okay? And on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex. P.S. I'm not updating until I get good reviews. God damn it. You ludicrous fools. Ebony started to cry tears of blood down her pallid face. Jesus. Why? Pallid? What? <laughs> Draco, comf <laughs> Draco comforted her. When they went back to the castle, Dumbledore took them to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. <laughs> McNaggle. <laughs> Man, well, I tell you what. <laughs> they were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest. Oh, he's lying. Why did you do such a thing, you <laughs> mediocre dunces? How dare you? <laughs> Because I love her! <laughs> <laughs> he's shirtless, he's flexing. <gasps> he's got neck veins or something. Everyone was quiet. <laughs> Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall. Sue looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine. Very well. You may go up 
to your room. <laughs> it's really good. Draco and Ebony went upstairs while the teachers glared at them. Are you okay, Ebony? Yeah, I guess. She went to the girl's dorm and brushed her teeth and her hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. <laughs> this fucking bitch. When she came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom, and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. Then they hugged and kissed. After that, they said goodnight, and he reluctantly, and he reluctantly went back into his room. Chapter 6 Arthur's Note Shush it up, preps, okay? P.S. I will not update up till you give me good revows. The next day, she woke up in her coffin. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I gotta read it, bro. Bro, I gotta what get dressed. Coffin? I mean, come on. <laughs> <clears throat> she put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high-heeled <laughs> boots that were black. Then she put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses. Her my ears. <laughs> then she spray painted her hair with purple. In the great Put on her cookie monster snapback. <laughs> In the great hall, Ebony ate some Count Chocula cereal. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? Someone. Uh, what is. <laughs> oh, what was uh, the liquid in it? That's Andrew? like the least hot thing you could eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the, the next one, with blood instead oh, of- Oh, shit! <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> There's the edge, kudos. Uh, Ebony <laughs> ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk, and a glass of red blood. That's a bit excessive. As opposed to the there others. You would you eat, would you eat, like, <laughs> cereal and milk with a glass of milk to the side? That's kind of fun. A glass of milk? <laughs> yeah. Andrew would. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah chug a lug, baby. <clears throat> Suddenly, yeah. someone bumped into her. All the blood spilled over her top. Bastard! She regretted saying it even when she looked up, because she was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair and red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that it was going down his face, and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco's, and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. <laughs> he looked exactly like Joel Madden. <laughs> <laughs> he looked exactly like Joe Budden. <laughs> like John Madden. <laughs> That's what I read first. He was, <laughs> he, was, he was so sexy that Ebony's body went all hot when she saw him. Kind of like an erection. <laughs> Only she is an girl, what? so she didn't get one, <laughs> you <Fuck>. sicko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I the sicko. You put that thought in my head. <laughs> hey, man, don't be a sicko. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bill, my knees. That's all right. What's your name? Oh, my name's Harry Potter. Although most people call me vampire these days. <laughs> Why? Oh, because Harry I love the taste of human blood. Well... I am a vampire. Really? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It yeah. did say you roared that. Yeah, it did. Then Draco came up behind them and told <laughs> Ebony he had a surprise for her, so she went away with him. <laughs> chapter 7, Bring Me to Life. Yo. She named this chapter. She named this yeah. chapter. Yeah, we're, we're going Fuck up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Author's note. Well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing this because I got five God reviews. And by the way, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten good Vons. <laughs> Stop <laughs> flaming or I'll report you. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanist. No, Satanist. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Yes, she's a Satanist. Satanist. <laughs> and she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. Ten good <laughs> <laughs> I like how she like d just gives up trying to write for these author notes. Like she's like, yeah. she, she yeah, writes like it all goes out yeah. the window. Draco, Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was I was wearing red satinist sings on my nails in red nail polish. Author's note: See, does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? I <laughs> waved. Yes. I waved to Vampire. Hey, Harry Potter, wave back. Your name is just Vampire. I waved to Vampire. <laughs> Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway. 
I, I like how I said to say so like a Mary Sue and then go on to say literally the most Mary Sue thing you can ever say. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door and then... That, you're not allowed oh, to do started. that in Hogwarts though, so she's clearly not a, yeah. a real fan. That's true. Dumbledore is going to come Unlock and kick you. your ass. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we started Frenching passively. Like, passively. like we were like kind of Frenching, it's but like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Are they checking their phones at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's They're exactly doing crossword puzzles. <laughs> 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 Playing Sudoku. <laughs> all tongue in each other's assholes. <laughs> oh. You know what four down is? <laughs> Yeah, it's synchronicity. Okay, thanks. Uh. We started Frenching passively, and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took <laughs> off my top. Then I took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. That'd be so sweet. We went on the bed and started making out naked, and then he put his boy thingy in mine, and we had <laughs> sex. His boy's thingy. Well, I like how you've given her this nice southern drawl as well. His boy's yeah, thingy. Like, I feel like she's from like Mississippi. He put or his boy's thingy in mine. He put, it, it, it implies that they're docking because it's like he put his boy's thingy in mine. <laughs> in my own boy's thingy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I should have specified hers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he put his boy thingy in my boy thingy. <laughs> See? Does Sorry. that sound stupid? <laughs> Yes. Draco, Draco. <laughs> Ebony screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden she saw a tattoo getting she had in. never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it in bloody gothic writing were the words Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Just end it there. <laughs> Just cut it there. <laughs> 1999 to 2008. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. She yeah. was so angry. You bastard! No, no, but you don't understand. No, you fucking idiot. You probably have AIDS anyway. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Ebony, but you definitely got AIDS now, then. Damn. I don't, yeah, I saw, I saw very Damn. detailed Damn. descriptions of AIDS. lacy uh, dresses and leather bras. <laughs> Zero contraception. Yeah, no, yeah. no leather condoms. <laughs> yeah, no Drink black leather condoms it. with frills. Damn. No black Damn. leather condom with some frilly things on it. <laughs> Ebony put on her clothes all huffily and then stomped out. <laughs> Draco ran, even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but she was too mad to care. Ebony stomped out and so did... And did so until she was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! <laughs> Damn! Damn! What a great! Oh, I'm so excited to do more of this. This is good. This is yeah, more, no, this yeah. is good. Ten times more than I could have ever hoped. Great cliffhanger. Yeah, this yeah. is so good. Damn! And that is the end of the first of four episodes of B Boys Reads My Immortal. Everyone, give it up for give it up for the narrator. Give it up for Ebony Black Meyer, the, the Raven Woo. Woman. Woo! Give Woo. it up for motherfucking Draco. Woo! Now give it up for uh, the other guys. Woo! All the other people that <laughs> like, also played the plus the good Charlotte singer. <laughs> Join us next time for Chapter Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, if you like that, uh, we'll do more. Yeah. Yep. But well, we are, we are going to do more th throughout October, and we'll finish it by yeah. the end of October. Holy shit. Uh, hey, yo, James, drink your vinegar. Get out of here. You probably have AIDS anyway. Wacky <laughs> 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 <laughs>